Hello and thanks for watching. My name is Brian, my call sign is KM4KIS, and I'm a general licensed amateur radio operator. This is an unboxing video for a neat little radio that was released by Baofeng uh, in mid-March, and so I don't think a lot of you had had a, have had a chance to uh, play with it just yet, so stay tuned. I'm going to briefly go through the press release and then we'll get into the box. So Saturday, 18 March 2017. Balfong came out with three new mobile radios. Uh, this is one of those three. It's the UV25X2. This is a 25 watt dual bander. They also came out with a 50 watt dual bander and a 25 watt quad bander. So uh, it's been redesigned top to bottom. These are going to feature a full color display and you can configure all these colors independently. Uh, so it depends on you know where you're going to put this thing is where it's going to make the most sense color wise. You know if it goes in your car or a bright ham shack, you can make the colors work for you. So the quad watch, these things are going to operate as multiple radios in one. So you can designate one of the bands as primary, and you can simultaneously watch up to three other frequencies or channels. So that's going to be a really neat option for staying on top of a lot of different things at once. You've got a dual synchronized display meaning you'll be able to put the frequency and the memory alphanumeric name if you want to so you have lots of information right on the screen so if you're if you're familiar with the old baofeng radios which a lot of us are um you know it was, it was a bit tedious to get into the menu you know to change things you'd have to go in delete the, the channel reprogram and reprogram the channel so uh, unless you were using chirp so these you can directly edit in the radio, so without having to delete and reprogram, you'll be able to modify on the fly. Uh, there's some neat scanning options. Um, you can even set a frequency range to scan, so you don't have to edit the VFO through a computer. Um, there's going to be just a lot more features to do directly through the radio that are, that are going to make things easier. These radios will respond to DTMF tones remotely, so you can stun or kill, which is kind of aggressive names for it, but uh, stun is transmit disable, kill is disabling all functions, and you can do that remotely through DTMF, so pretty neat. And one of the coolest things is that uh, on the day one release, on March 18th when these came out, they were fully supported, fully supported by Chirp. So if you're familiar with Chirp and programming these or other radios, you'll be able to plug this thing right in and uh, copy over from your old radios and get right to work. So cool, there's the press release. Let's get into the box. So, this is going to show you what's included inside. You have the, the mobile rig, a handheld mic, a cigarette plug, a mounting bracket, a microphone mounting hardware, a bracket, and a user guide. And uh, all this, although this thing was made in China, the package and product were designed in the USA. So there you go. All right, opening up. What do you know? There's a user manual. Amazing. This is a tiny little rig. Look how small this thing is. I think that's going to be very unobtrusive, very easy to place wherever you want to. Um, so I was looking for a small kit that could go in our Honda Civic. Um, and so I wanted something that didn't take up a lot of space, that was easily mountable, and uh, you know, it would just be kind of slim. And so the second function I wanted to get out of this was if I ever upgraded this rig, you know, this radio, it would be, I would want it to be something that would go in a go kit. Talk about a go kit radio. Look at this thing. This thing is tiny. So small screen, but still large for this, uh, for this footprint. Wow. So that's going to be full color. You've got two, two hardware knobs here, You're mounting holes on the sides. And here's the rear. So you're gonna have your antenna plug right here, a cooling fan, a data port, a headphone port, which this is a four, a four port TRRS jack. So you'll be able to integrate speaker, push to talk, all those other functions. Um, one neat feature of this is um, you'll be able to use an upcoming APRS cable. A special phone interface cable is gonna be coming out. So if you're interested in APRS, this is going to be a radio that can do it. So again, another good go kit feature. You're gonna have your uh, fused power supply right here. Microphone. So 
you're going to have a well-featured microphone with a lot of your buttons here, a full num numeric keypad, scan and lock buttons up and down, exit, menu buttons, a lot of that stuff you can do from the front screen. Uh, it feels a little on the light side. Um, yeah, we'll just see how that plays out. Uh, again, it's not going to be the highest quality, but let's talk about the price point on this. I mean, this thing came in at $114. So, I mean, that's that's really hard to beat. Uh, if you if you could find something comparable, I'm all ears, but really that was the third point I was looking for. You know, something small, something affordable, and something reasonably capable in that price range. So, for $114, yeah, I don't think you can beat it yet. So, moving on. Here's our microphone. Not a whole lot of explaining for this thing, a mounting bracket. So, that'll mount up very easily. This is kind of a neat thing to throw in there, a microphone clip bracket, a hanging bracket. And all your mounting hardware. So, oh, we are missing one thing. I thought we were does come by default with a cigarette lighter cord, so this is made to be a more of a portable unit. Uh, you can always splice this in and go directly to hardwired power if you want. But you know, this gives you all the options of being mobile, being portable, and uh, it'll give you a good platform to start on. And I believe that's it in the box. Again, this tiny little rig, I think, is gonna do the trick as far as just something small, something affordable, and, and featured enough to, you know, use as a two meter, 70 centimeter rig around town. Yeah, for hitting local repeaters, 25 watts is gonna be plenty of power. And, uh, and we'll see, once we hook it up to the antenna, how it performs. Uh, I'll do that in part two. We'll get it hooked up and get it on the air and see how it does. I'd like to know what you guys think, and if you wanna see other models, uh, or if you wanna talk about this model or others, please start a discussion, let's talk about it. Thanks for watching.